Alright guys, it's BC again. I'm going to show you another tutorial now. How to display some effects for your character using the explode state controller. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to display some effects while my character is taunting. And I'll show you how that's done. So whatever state you need, uh, just follow the tutorial and adjust to whatever state you need to put that in. I'm going to go to state 195 which is the taunt state I'm going to make a space I'm going to find the explode state controller and I'm going to double click it and then it's going to show the actual template you're going to see a load of parameters here but don't be confused because I'll explain each one individually and also check the Mugen documents uh, for the next uh, further detailed explanation. Trigger 1, that's when you want the effect to, to show. Trigger is when the actual state controller will be triggered. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go to my animation of my taunt, which is here. Begin action number 195. I'm going to go to an appropriate frame, frame 4. And then I'm going to type in anim elem, animation element equals 4. Animation element just means which frame. So there you go. Anim is the number of my effect I want to play. I'll just find one now, a, a random one. There we go. So 9011. So this is your effect animation number. ID equals means uh, if your animation of your effect is infinite and it won't ever uh, finish so it has a frame time of minus one or something uh, you need to give it a unique ID number and use the remove explode state controller state in this ID uh, to remove it manually else it will just keep playing but we're going to remove that because we don't need it for now because our animation doesn't have infinite frame time pos is the x and y position of your pos type which our pos type is player 1 so that's good because we want to display it on the character uh, face in equals minus 1 as we're, as we're displaying our graphic on player 1 it will face the same way player 1 is facing if you change this to minus 1 it will face the opposite direction that player 1 is facing so we're going to remove that because we don't need it because it's a, a default value of 1 which is facing the same way as our player which is fine V facing is uh, which way it's vertically facing so 1 is is normal and minus 1 will flip it uh, your effect vertically so we'll remove that because that's default now bind time if this is 1 then your effect won't be bound to your character so it won't follow your character everywhere it goes so change this to minus 1 if you want to constantly stick the effect to your character or you or if you want your effect to be uh, stuck to your character for a certain amount of game ticks just just state that in the parameter so something like 30 or whatever as it's one and that's fine and default I'm going to remove that vel is the x and y velocity of the effect or the explode uh, if you want your effect to move or anything but we won't need that for now so I'm going to remove that Excel is basically accelerating the velocity so we don't need that uh, random is if your effect is bound to your character or stuck uh, this displays either an X or Y position randomly over time or something so we don't need that remove time equals minus two which is the default value that means once your effect animation uh, has finished or the time is expired then it will remove the explode if you're if you want to change that to minus one uh, then it will constantly play that animation till you decide to remove it with the ID number given using remove explode so we're going to remove that because minus two was default super move if you add time to this and time to the pause move what that does is during a super pause it will display how many ticks or you you tell Mugen how many ticks 
you want the effect to be unfrozen for because by default it will freeze all effects during the super pools but we don't need that for now and the same with pools move during a pools move how many effects do you want the uh, sorry how many ticks do you want the effects to be unfrozen for scale uh, 1, 1 is full size like so default size 0 0.5 0 0.5 is half size so mess around with that to get the the desired size but I'm going to remove that because it's default sprite priority uh, basically where you want to draw the effect over or behind the character so I'm going to use 4 on top is the same pretty much but if that's 1 then it will display itself over everything else so over all other effects so only use that if you're not using multiple effects shadow uh, basically removes the shadow of the effect or gives it a shadow using red, green and blue values we don't need that for now own power equals zero uh, if your character has any flashy effects on the palette if this is zero then your effect will share it as well so change it to one if you if you don't want the effect to start flashing if your character does remove on get hit if this is one then when you're hit the uh, and you go out of the taunt state your effect will disappear too if this is zero, it will keep playing until the animation's finished. So I want to change that to one. And that's basically it for your to show your effect. Um, if you need to show effects during a super move or something else, then you might need a, f a few more parameters. But for now, that's all you really need to show an effect. And I'm going to test it out now to show you how it works. So I'm going to play my taunt now and you'll see the effect. Okay, um, just quickly, the position equals zero, 0, If you want to position your effect onto the character at a certain point, you want to click this button here, which is the offset view. On the left, uh, this is your character. You want to find the action number, so my taunt was 195 and it was frame 4, it counts 0 as one frame anyway so I'm going to go to that one and then on the right hand side is my effect animation number and I want to drag it and put it onto player 1 exactly where I want it to display and then let go of the mouse button and it will give me x and y coordinates so x15 y equals minus 65 and then I want to put it in the position here so 15 minus 65 load it up again and then it will be in the exact position you need so there we go I hope this helped and check out the channel for further tutorials thanks